Greetings, and welcome to Oro CRM's video tutorial series. This is Rhonda with Oro CRM, and today I'll be demonstrating how to create custom fields using Oro CRM. Oro CRM allows users to create custom fields in order to collect additional details that were not included out of the box. For example, the contacts entity has fields of information such as name, address, phone number, and so on. Suppose you wanted to capture additional details, such as their Tumblr handle, so that way you can target this user for various promotions. While many social media ID fields are provided on the contact record out of the box, a new field will be required for Tumblr ID. A custom field added to the contact entity allows you to capture this information. To create a custom field, navigate to the main system menu and select Entities and then Entity Management. Select the Contacts Entity. The Contact Entity record displays. This page contains all of the existing fields related to this entity. Click the Create Field button in the top right hand corner of the screen. A blank General Information Form displays. To find the field name, for this example, we'll use Tumblr ID. Select its storage type. Serialized fields allows admins to create simple custom fields that keep information on a single entity without a schema update. This means there's no need to shut down or restart the system in order for these fields to display. Serialized fields, however, cannot be used for grid filters, reporting, chart generation, data audit, or creation of segments and relations. Additionally, serialized fields cannot be used for files, multi-selects, or option sets. The table column storage type stores field values to a database table. This requires a schema update for this field to be available. Choose a type of field. For this example, we can choose a string value for our Tumblr ID. Other values such as date and time, currency, integers, and images are just a few of the pre-formatted fields available. When you are finished, click the Continue button in the top right-hand corner of the screen. Depending on what has been selected for field type, additional fields will display. Enter a label for the field. The label is the name displayed for the field in the user interface and does not need to match the field name. The field might be called Tumblr ID, but the label might say Tumblr handle. By default, the name of this field is automatically listed as a label, but you can change this value. Fill out the description. The information detailed in the description field displays on the user interface when hovering over the information tooltip icon on the left of the field when entering data. This field is not required, but it is highly recommended to help guide users who may need a better understanding of the information required for that specific field. Click on the Import and Export link. This section details name and placement of the custom field for importing and exporting only. To find the column name, if no name is used here, then the default label will be used. This will be the name of the column in the CSV file. Type the column position. Type a number that corresponds to the position of the field in the CSV file that contains entity records. The user's identity field defines if this field will be added to record identification. An example of a field that is used as an identification field is a contact name. Additionally, this field is used to determine unique values in the CSV file. In the Exclude column field, select No if you want this field to be available for export, and Yes if you wish to exclude the column. This means this field will not be included in the CSV export file or any other. Click on the other link to define additional settings. In the Available and Email Templates field, select Yes if you'd like this field to be available for use in templates. The Contact Information field has three possible values. If you leave this field empty, this custom field will not be treated as contact information. Selecting email in this field means the values of the field are treated by marketing lists as an email address. If phone is selected, the values of this field are treated by marketing lists as a phone number. For our example, I'll leave this field blank as the information in this custom field is not contact information. The Add to Grid setting options controls the availability and display of a field in the grid. By default, Yes and Display are selected and makes the field available for use in the grid. 
Yes and do not display means the field is hidden by default, and yes mandatory adds it permanently to all grid views. In the Show Grid Filter section, select Yes if you want to have this field's filter displayed on the interface by default. Select No and it will not be displayed by default, but you can add it as a filter if needed. In the Show on Form fields, select Yes if you wish to have this field displayed and editable on record and page edits. The ability to edit depends on the permissions of the logged in user. In the Show on View field, select Yes if you'd like this field displayed on record view pages. Priority defines an order of custom fields on the Entity Record view, Edit, Create Pages, and on the respective grid. Custom fields are always displayed one after another, usually below the system fields. If no priority is identified or the priority is zero, the fields will be displayed in the order of which they've been added to the system. The fields with a higher priority or a bigger value will be displayed before the ones with a lower priority. If the searchable field is set to Yes, this field will be indexed and returned in search results. Select if the field is an auditable field. If set to Yes, the system will log changes made to this field values when the users edit entity records. This is not available for serialized fields. The applicable organization checkbox determines if you want this field to be available throughout all organizations. When you're finished configuring your new custom field, click the Save and Close button in the top right-hand corner of the screen. Please note that before any field is viewable on a form or a view page when using table columns, users must first update the schema. Serialized data fields do not require a schema update. Click the red Update Schema button in the top right-hand corner of the screen. Once the schema has been updated successfully, return to the Customer Contact Grid and create a new contact. Navigate to the Customers menu and select Contacts. Click Create Contact in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. Click on the additional link and you'll notice that our new custom field is now available. Thanks for watching. For more video tutorials, please check out our website at www.orocrm.com/media-library.